that's IMG. Thank you so much for watching. Elia, a radiant translucent powder, SPF 20. Magic Sands. Magic Sands is the tone for light skin. And then there is a deep tone called... Welcome to 30 Days of Beauty where I try beauty products for at least minimum of 30 days. However, I do try a lot of things for like 9 years depending on how long I've been able to afford it. So if you have anything you'd like to try before you buy, please leave it in the comments. Subscribe now as I have a new 30 Days of Beauty review every single week. Waikiki Run for medium to dark tones. So if you have tried it and you want to review it, leave it in the comments below so I can pin it to the top as obviously I do not have any any deep tone skin experience. I am very light skin. I use this to layer my SPF. They say to layer your SPF. Don't just have like one thing and then rely on it, but you do have to reapply it multiple times a day if you are outside and you are really depending on like uh, on a good sunscreen for a beach day. I literally do layer it in my beauty routine. I try to do it in my beauty, beauty routine so I don't have to worry about it later. First things first is NARS Smooth and Protect Primer and SPF 50. I try to get like the, the highest SPF so like I don't have to worry about oh every 20 minutes I have to put this on every 15 minutes. No, I just want one and done and especially since I do get ready right before I go out in the day sometimes and after that I will apply um, a CC cream or a foundation that I use like a concealer I have a video right here and then um, that you can check out if, in case you want to see exactly how I use primer if I'm going out on a really glam excursion in the daytime this is UVA UVB by A Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation UVA just means anti-aging and UVB means anti-burn so I have the CC cream plus also an SPF 50 and then I will top my face off with the Elia translucent powder i used to start it out by using a ton because i didn't i just use this brush from this brush set from amazon it's like 11 dollars for the whole set and i would dip brush in there and then like apply it on my face and it looked like a ghost like white <laughs> but you have to like be careful and just like shake it into the component and then i usually just open the lid dab the lid and then apply it on my face and spread it out as evenly possible i only got four hours of sleep tonight and this is how i look I'm absolutely glowing and I'm impressed and last night I drank, I do not feel fresh at all. My voice is raspy, did not get enough sleep, did not hydrate enough. I did have a tea this morning, but I am glowing and this is my second time that I bought this. I've been using this over a year now. I live in Los Angeles. This is natural light. This is not like any special lighting that I'm using. Just real quick, something else I love about Ilia is you send them an email and they match you. If you ask for like one foundation of your color match, you send in a photo, a couple selfies and the light and they will send you all the exact products in the right tones that are meant for you. It wasn't like Givenchy where Givenchy Beauty, they actually have like a face-to-face -face video consultation. This was just like a quick email that you get within the next day. I personally prefer this because it's in a jar. However, Ilia does have another translucent or a finishing powder, but it's not SPF and it's not tinted. They also have an SPF finishing powder that is in brush attachments. I don't like those because I feel like a lot of the product gets stuck in between here. You're not necessarily getting all of your money's worth. And it's also annoying because you have to kind of test out first. Turn the turnstile, how much product or how many times you need to turn it is exactly right for your face, or else you're just wasting product. For this, you can just see it right away at the bottom. And and uh, it's really easy peasy. SPF is very important and I think people forget it a lot on their hands, their neck, and their chest. Especially, obviously, the face. But like people don't think throughout the day to remember to put SPF. We are thinking about a million other things. Moms are thinking about their mom life. When you're at work, you're not thinking, oh, I need to put this out before I go out to lunch. And making it a part of your beauty routine is imperative. And not only that, it's just you have to remember. I know this lady is in her 60s. She is very open-hearted, as I like to say. Likes to show her cleavage, which is fine. Doesn't bother me. Wrinkles are fine. You know, like... I'm 26 years old, but you can only prevent wrinkles. You can't get rid of wrinkles. Yes, you can uh, go through extremes as surgery, but one, it's costly in, it, in a different way. And then it's also, you can only go so far. So you can only stretch your face as far as you can because they see like the earlier you start the better it is for your chances later of getting another facelift that it doesn't look like utter garbage or you don't look like a monster or however you may want to call it if you get a facelift i really don't care you look fabulous you look fabulous how how you are and if you already have wrinkles that's perfectly fine i've got lines this translucent powder look no creases it's crazy because i'm used to using such 
like painting on concealer or foundation where it leaves lines when I smile. And this powder is the first time that I've seen lines like completely invisible. It's such a hands down great finishing powder. And I know this lady, back to the story, <laughs> who's like six years old and she's very open chested. If you're one of those people who's extra and puts like makeup on their neck and puts makeup on their cleavage when they're going out and who's like very glam about it, like Kylie Jenner does, I know she contours her boobs and all that. Make sure you use a finishing powder or some kind of sunscreen on your chest, no matter what, as a part of you your routine every single day when you know you're gonna go out because this lady has like really really wrinkly cleavage it's like red liver spots a lot going on in a not very pleasant way when she could have simply just put SPF and like pickled herself. I'm talking to young people who have zero idea what's coming at them. And don't forget your hands, don't forget your neck. People forget the neck. Pe don't forget your ears, don't forget your chest, your shoulders. Find a way to incorporate SPF into your routine because if you're already a person who puts on beauty, it's like you might as well add this one simple step that will save your face. Because nobody likes to say this, nobody likes to talk about it, but your face is your money maker. Youth truly is a currency. And people, forget that. I don't forget that because I live in Los Angeles and I get mad looks from like old ladies all day who are like that bad energy of when they see a young woman they're like kind of annoyed by seeing someone younger the American problem. In Europe you're 40 and you're still hot and where here it's like you're 40 and you're still hot only if you do Pilates three times a day and you get a bunch of Botox and blah 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 blah. I love graceful aging but here it's like not it's like harder to understand so like protect your youth protect your power that's your human capital. Sometimes people just want like a fresh face. When you get hired they will immediately hire the person even if they're unexperienced they will choose the young person or the younger looking person because there's an immediate explanation for why they are not as uh, experienced. If there's an older person who isn't as uh, knowledgeable in a certain skill or developed in a certain trade, that people question that when they hire someone. So you have to think of that. Don't just use beauty as put on sunscreen and forget about your beauty because I was just at a business event where I dressed not like a businesswoman, I dressed like a woman in an evening gown going to an evening event. Everybody was so surprised when <laughs> when I started talking about business and they're like, wow, she knows so much. This is like the new standard. You gotta look beautiful. You gotta be beautiful. You ha Even if you look good on the outside, you gotta look good on the inside and you gotta feel good exude that energy it's like i'm not just a pretty face yes you are a pretty face yes you are all these braids and these personality and this charming that everybody loves don't forget to protect your face because it just adds to your personality to who you are it adds to your brains take care of your face take care of your beauty you don't have to have one or the other you can have it all seriously and you can have it all with this Elia because I have a huge headache. <laughs> I'm like slightly hungover and filming this video for you guys so that you can see how freaking glowing I am in this. No lines. I'm literally glowing and I'm so happy that I used this today because I have a jazz thing that I'm going to. I'm wearing Elia. It's all linked below. Let me know what you think. 30 Days of Beauty. Another one is coming out next week, so subscribe now. It's totally free. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.